When you're working with simplifying square roots of negatives, you always want to remember that before reducing with fractions, be sure to factor first. Let's look at example one to see what this all means. Negative 300 needs to be factored. We take the negative and we rewrite it as i on the outside. So before we factor the 300, we need to realize that the negative 1 that's attached to the 300 will be an i when we pull it out. So let's go ahead and factor that first. Negative 1 is pulled out and now we have 300. From there we can, f we can divide out 3 and we're left with 100 divide by 2 and we get 50, divide by 2 again and we get 25, divide by 5 and we get 5. These are our prime factors. The negative 1 we're going to pull out of the radical as an i. So let's go ahead and do it. We've got 15 plus i root 5 squared times 2 squared times 3 all over 5. From here we can pull out a 5 and a 2 in addition to the i. So we get 15 plus 5 times 2 times i root 3 all over 5. From here let's go ahead and rewrite multiplying the 5 and the 2 together so we get 10i root 3 all over 5. Remember we cannot reduce unless we pull out a common factor because we can't reduce terms just factors. The common factor between 15 and 10i root 3 is 5. Once I've factored the 5 out, I'm left with 3 plus 2i root 3 all over 5. The 5's reduce out and my final solution or simplification is 3 plus 2i root 3. And that's my final simplification. Let's go ahead and move on to example 2. We're going to remember to prime factor negative 80. We know that negative 80 could be factored and we could pull out a negative 1. This would leave us 80. Remember, the negative 1 is i when we pull it out of the radical sign. Now that we've pulled out the i or the negative, we can prime factor 80. Let's go ahead and divide by 2 and we get 40. Divide by 2 again, we get 20. Divide by 2 once more and we get 10. Divide by 2 again and we get 5. These are my prime factors of 80. I'm going to now rewrite my fraction with i out front because I want to get rid of that negative 1 inside. The rest of what's left are my prime factors. I have 2 to the 4th times 5. 
all over 8. From here, I can pull out those factors inside the radical. 2 to the 4th can be divided by the index of 2, and I'm left with 0 remainders and 2 2's come out. And my 5 is prime, so it stays in the radical. All over 8. Rewriting with the exponents, I get 20 plus 4i root 5 over 8. Now I'm going to pull out the common factor in the numerator so I can reduce my fraction. The common factor is 4, and I get 5 plus i root 5 over 8. I can reduce a 4 out of the numerator and the denominator now, and I'm left with 2 in the denominator. I can now rewrite my final simplification as 5 plus i root 5 over 2.